Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, welcome to your English classes. Can you hear me, guys? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes? All right, welcome, students. Welcome, dear students. Pre-intermediate module three. Hello, hello, hello. A pleasure having you here. It's a pleasure having you here in this class. My name is Kalev Nunez. I'm teacher Kalev, who will be uh, the privileged teacher with you throughout this module. Um, let me please um, say hello to each of you. Um, it's our very first class. I'm very excited. I'm very happy um, to be your teacher and to be with you. Please let me get to know about you. Let me get to know my students. I need you to say hello. I need you to introduce yourself. I need you to tell us a little bit about you so we can get to know, you know, we can start the flow uh, in this class. Anything special, anything special about you, plus your uh, introduction. Okay, let's uh, activate your cameras and let's say welcome. Okay, let me say welcome to Mercy Viera. Hello. Um, wait, wait, Mercy, you need to activate your microphone. I can't hear you. Hello? Yeah, it's like, it's like connecting your audio. So let's wait a moment, okay? Yeah, you have audio audio problems, okay? Be careful. Let me try then with Brian Ariel Hernandez Navas. Can you say hello? Welcome to the class. Activate your camera. Say hello. Okay, no problem, no problem, Mercy, no problem. Bueno, creo que estamos teniendo un poquito de problemas de connection, connection issues, audio issues, problemas de audio. Sé que se están conectando ahorita, so siento que solo yo estoy hablando ahorita. No, I don't know what's going on. What's happening? <laughs> who can hear me? A ver, who can hear me? Can you hear me? Can you try? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, let's start with you, Miss Azucena. Introduce yourself, please. Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Azucena. I I'm happy that I start my English class again. Um, I have a, a many cats. <laughs> I love cats and. I love the English class. Eh, no sé qué más decir por ser primera vez y, y tener una pausa. <laughs> you had a pause? You had a pause? Sorry? You had a pause? No. Like, no. A, like, a, like a disconnection of, of classes for, for a period of time? Mm, no. Quizás un, un mes, la pausa que anterior que tuvimos, esta, esta pausa reciente, de módulo sí. a módulo. Es que ahorita estamos como retomando, ¿verdad? Sí. That's right, yes, 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 we had a pause. That's the INSA Force pause that happens every year, but we're back. We are back, Azucena. We are back in class. So, how many cats do you have? 
I have a uh, 22. 22 cats in your home? Yes. <laughs> My goodness. So the cat food business is going well, huh? Don't you like dogs? Um, I like because no have dog. I don't have dogs. I don't have dog. Because you have a lot of cats. Wow, that's pretty interesting. How old are you? I I uh, twenty five years. Years old. Years old. Years old. Nice, nice. So people call you Azucena or Elizabeth. What do you prefer? Uh, I, a mí normalmente me dicen Susi o Susi. Sí. Okay. Say, say, say. People usually call me. Uh, people usually call me Susi. Susi. Okay, I'll oh. remember. Susi. Azucena también está bien. Azucena, it's okay, but you prefer Susie. Okay, I remember that. Welcome to the class. Um, well, I'm happy to be with you as well. Uh, Mercy, you can speak now. Not yet? No, not yet. This is still connecting. Still connecting. Let me go with Jilma. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. All right, may you introduce yourself? Say something special about you. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? Um, bueno, um, um, my name is Gil Manferes. I live in Casal de Peque. Uh, I have um, forty fifty forty fifty years old. Forty five. Forty four. Forty four. Forty four. Forty four. I see for for forty four years old. Um, I love um I love the dog. You love the dogs? Dog dog dog. The, Los the, the dogs, yeah, you love dog. dogs. Uh, like yes, Susana yeah. likes cats. Yes. You love dogs. <laughs> Don't Yes. Don't tell me you have many dogs. Um, uh, so one, one dog. One dog. You say I have one dog. I have one dog. Um, so solamente. Only that. Only that. Okay. Welcome to the class. Thank you. <laughs> this this student is familiar to me, Juan Linares. You're you're familiar to me, Juan Linares. Is your name Juan Carlos Linares? Yes, teacher. Oh my goodness, the small world. How are you, my friend? Hey guys, Juan Linares is an ex-student and now he's my student again. Yes. Wow, introduce yourself, go ahead. Okay, um, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Juan Linares, and I am twenty. Oh, I am thirty years old. Um, only, only that. Yes, only that. Okay, okay. It's important to include information such as your work, you know, your family, your hobbies, your likes, uh, maybe your favorite um, type of music, perhaps. Okay. <clears throat> um, 
I work at Supertienda Morena and I am married. Uh, I have um, one children. One, one child. One child. Nice. And my favorite hobby is uh, play soccer and listen to music. Um, only. Okay, only great, that. great, Juan. Congratulations for your child. And I'm very happy to see you again. Have you again as my student? Imagine, imagine yes. the destiny, the destiny keep us together, man. That's good. Mm, yes. <laughs> okay. Say hi, say hi to your family there. Let me say welcome to the next student, Jaime Hernandez. Hello. Activate your microphone, um, Jimmy. Okay, sorry, teacher. I can hear uh, you now. Es, es, eh, no podía ingresar, tenía problemas, pero ya. Oh, ya really? Logré. All right, excellent. Welcome to my class, Jaime. Nice to meet you. Tell me about you, please. Teacher, uh, I'm, I continue in this, um, in, in this class because I um, around January I, I finished that the second mo model mm -hmm. and three 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 months with any activity. <laughs> three you had three months vacation, huh? Oh, or, or around five months. <laughs> or like five months vacation of classes. So it's time to come back. It's time to come back to classes. That's good, Jaime. That's good, no problem. Sometimes, sometimes you need a space, you know? Sometimes you need to do some other things, but that's good that you're back. That's good that you're back. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's continue with Rodolfo. Are you there? Yeah, teacher. We're listening. What is the question? The question is, introduce yourself and tell us something special about you. Okay. Uh, uh, good evening, my name is Rodolfo Cruz. I'm 31 years old. Actually, I'm working in a, a, a supermarket and I, I have a one child. I live in Activo Cojatlan City. My, I like to, to play basketball and I like to, to go to the, the film. Um, only that. All right, all right. Welcome to the class. Then let's move on. Let's go with. Me aparece como T L C 10 L, pero necesito ver si me le puede modificar ahí su nombre estimado o estimada y me le ubique ahí su nombre ahí en en editar, verdad, para cambiar el nombre y que lo podamos tomar en cuenta. Sí, me disculpa, yo creí que lo había cambiado. Try, try, inténtalo, porfa. Okay. Vamos ahí con Brian, Brian Hernández. Nope. Okay. Carla Marino. Hi, teacher. My name is Brian Hernández. Uh, I am 22 years old. My favorite subject is English. My favorite sport is soccer. Welcome to the class, Brian. I'm happy to meet you. Okay. Hector, I need full name, Hector. I need your last name. Hello, good evening, teacher. <laughs> I, my name is Hector. I am from El Salvador. 
I live in Soyapan. What's your last name? Eh, la última clase quiero ver en enero, pero escuchar que lo tuvimos. Okay, yeah, yeah, I understand. Ah. Yeah, I understand. Ah. Estamos como descanchados, digamos. Sí, bastante. Vaya, pues está bien, no problem, no problem. Ahí nos vamos a ayudar entre todos. Miss Maria Flores. Hello. Hi, welcome, lady. Tell us about you, Hello, please. Hello, good evening. Um, my name is Mary. I am 25 years old. I live with my, with my husband. Um, I live in Santo Tomas. Um, my favorite color is white. White? Uh, white. Um, my favorite, uh, I don't know. Um, I like play basketball and I like to watch the series. Series. Nice. And, and that's all. That's all for now. Okay, and, good enough. Good enough. Thank you, Maria. Let me go with, um, Quien más acá? Let me see, Carla. Marino. Yes, yes. Hi. Yes, teacher. Hi, good night, everyone. Um, I am happy to come back to um, my English class. Uh, my name is Carla Merino. I am 20 years old. Um, I am friendly. And my favorite food is Mexican food. Mm. And other way, um, um, I love animals and I love to meet new people and I love to be uh, social and for the moment and I am studying. Uh, I will study at the next year at the university because I want to improve more. Great, 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 great. And, and when you come to class at, at, at night, uh, when you want to say hello, uh, you say good evening, okay, Carla? You say good evening. Okay. Mm -hmm. To say hello, okay. to say goodbye, we say good night. So I'm very happy. I'm okay. very happy you're back in class also, Carla, and that you want to improve your English. Here is the right place to do so. We can help you with that, okay? Well, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. But you gotta ask me questions. You gotta ask me questions. Teacher, I have a question, teacher. How do you say, yeah, you ask me questions, okay, guys? I like that. I like when you ask me questions. Susana, Paula. Ka Caroline. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's up? Hi. My name is Susi Susana. My last name is Paula Lopez. Mm. Um, for the moment, I start in business administration. Uh, my favorite color is green and black. Um, my fruit favorite is guava. Say, say my favorite fruit. My favorite fruit is uh, a strawberry. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the cat and dog. And um, only that. Only that. All right, pretty interesting. So your last name is Paula. Paula is not a name, it's your last name. My name is Susana Carolina. My last name is Paula Lopez. That's very interesting. So your last name is special. You yes. are special. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. All right, somebody else, somebody else. Let me see. Ahora, let me aparece acá Jose Leonardo Cortez. Hello. Good evening. 
Hi, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Jose Leonardo Cortez. I work in Fruit of the Loom, El Salvador. I live in San Sebastián Solitillo. I, I study uh, industrial in, in, engineering. Engineering. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I like play football. Football, like American football or, or soccer. soccer? Soccer. Soccer, okay. Soccer, soccer. Um, my favorite color is uh, orange. Orange? I like, okay. I like uh, it very. <laughs> very much. Very much. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, pupusas. <laughs> pupusas especially, huh? Yes. Great, great. How old are you? Uh, um, 33. 33 years old. Okay, cool. Yes. Welcome, Noe Ponce. Hi, everyone. Hi, nice Noah. How are you? Nice to meet you. Um, my name is Noe Vazquez Ponce. I work in uh, every, every day. Uh, in my office, in my home, uh, in online, uh, <clears throat> for company fertilizer, fertilizer, and all the country, and this company is a corporation, Sanci uh, Sanci Guatemala. Uh, with operation in the Salvador. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have uh, two child. Uh, two I children. Children, yes. I I married. Okay. Uh, I live in Colón, La Libertad. Mm -hmm. um, I am in my company, I am coordinator of administration of country in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, my profession is, is accounting. Accountant? You're an accountant? Yes, yes. yes. I am accounting. And I like, I, I, I love uh, uh, playing soccer. Uh, always uh, uh, we can I go with uh, my child my children uh, and only only that uh, teacher good enough good English good English no eh Thank you, teacher. Very good English. Okay. Mm, let me see. Mercy fue la única que tuvo problemitas con el audio. Ya no se pudo al final, ¿verdad? Eh, probablemente mañana eh, funcione mejor eh, el dispositivo y podamos pues ya conocer su vocecita. Ok, Miss. But uh, para mientras, uh, ahí, ¿verdad? Tomando notas, paying attention. Eh, puede preguntar ahí en el chat. Tenemos esa opción también para usted, ¿verdad? Ok, no sé si alguien más se me pasó. I don't know. Ro Rodolfo Cruz, did you, did you already introduce yourself? Yes, right? Yes. Bah. Remember, guys, two requirements from Insafor. They um, need you to activate your camera all the time, and they need you to have active participation. So you have to participate in the class. Entonces, Mercy está ahorita con eh, las disculpas ahí, pero los demás, pues, debemos participate as much as possible. Please, if you have any question, don't hesitate. Don't worry. Teacher? Yes? Excuse me. Um, Entré un poquito tarde. Uh, what is your name, teacher? Hello. I'm Caleb Nunez. I'm okay. your new English teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, teacher. 
What's your name? What's your name? Noe. Noe Ponce, right? Yes. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. So, guys, if you have any question, please stop me. Teacher, teacher, I have a question, teacher. And you interrupt me and you ask me questions, okay? Um, let's get started. Needless to say, let's learn English. Let me share my screen with you. Let me share now. Please tell me if you can visualize my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Thank you so much. All right, all right. So let's go with Susana. Susana, read the objective, today's objective, please. Okay. In the, in the section, participants will listen to a conversation about sight, where a verb before adjective or use, you say. Bueno, tenemos una interferencia. Guys, eh, ojo con las interferencias. Solo tenemos una hora de clase. Esta hora tiene que ser súper provechosa. Si tú tienes interferencias, cuidado con tu micrófono por respeto a tus compañeros. Si puedes irte a un lugar eh, más calladito, pues lo haces. Si tienes la interferencia, pues tienes que tener tu micrófono desactivado. Let's move on. Eh, yes. Participants will listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. Adverbs and adjectives. You need to know adverbs and you need to know adjectives. Yes? Can you give one example of an adjective? White. White, it's a color. Yes, all colors are additives. Yes. Can you say a different adjective? Beautiful. Yes, correct, Mercy. Beautiful is an adjective to describe appearance. Another adjective, somebody else. Practice, practice, practice. So tall that's right tall is also an adjective adjectives describes noun now adverbs adverbs we also have uh, we need to have knowledge for adjectives and adverbs do you know any adverb nope for example, very. Usually. I'm sorry, can you repeat? You said usually, yes, usually is an adverb. What did you say? Okay, so far. Yes, yes, in that case, the, uh, yeah, it's an example. Thank you. Okay, so that's a little bit of what we will study today. Okay, first of all, we're going to um, see this conversation. Let me just zoom it for you, take notes, and make questions at the end of the video. Hi, welcome to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. As soon as you listen to From okay, Carmen. Cool. Um, let's see. Any question about the conversation?
Nope. Okay. I have a question for you. Class, can you identify, can you identify the adjectives? Participation, tell me an example. Identify adjectives. Nice. Nice, thank you. Fantastic. Fantastic, correct. Great, Expensive. great. I'm sorry, expensive. Yes. Pretty. Pretty. Okay, excellent, excellent. Those are adjectives. If you noticed, uh, we have also adverbs. For example, the adverb really. Repeat really. 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 Really, really. 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 is an adverb before a adjective yes? yes yes for example for example san juan puerto rico is a nice city yeah you can say it's a nice city but you can say it's a really nice city so it's a really nice city it's it's bigger it's huger it's even more beautiful so that's one example another example it's two the adverb to, T-O-O, -O. yes, T-O-O, -O. Um, también. también, pero este lo hemos visto cuando decimos nice to meet you too, right, o oh, me too, right, yo también, pero si lo vemos antes de un adjective, entonces, es un adverb que significa demasiado, muchísimo, demasiado. Entonces, si yo lo uso antes de big, que es grande, too big, it means demasiado grande, right? Um, si yo lo utilizo uh, with angry, if I say angry, Angry means enojado, enojada. If I say too angry, estoy diciendo que es demasiado enojado, demasiado enojada. Okay, another adverb, it's very, very, very. It's another adverb. For example, very expensive. Okay. Pretty. Pretty es especial porque pretty puede ser adjetivo o puede ser usado um, como adverb. Puede ser usado así como este adverb que sale acá, very. Ok. Como acá, very expensive, muy caro. Yo puedo decir pretty. Pretty expensive, que sería lo mismo. Pretty reasonable. Es muy razonable. No es razonable, es muy razonable. Pretty reasonable. Ok. Tenemos también um, fairly. Fairly. Ok. Similar. It's very similar to very. You have any questions? Any questions so far? No questions? I have a question, teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the meaning of uh, fairly? Fairly is... Um, Spanish. Más o menos, puede ser como bastante, como very. Lo puedes usar como very. Okay, thank you. Sure. Fairly, bastante. Si ahí dice... Um, por ejemplo, el tema dice, it's a fairly big city. Es una ciudad, dice, es una ciudad bastante grande. Fairly big. Fairly está actuando como el adverb, right? Antes del adjective. Any questions so far? Sí, sure. Yes. Uh, the, what's the meaning? Pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. Yeah. Yes. Es como muy razonable. 
muy razonable. O sea que modifico el, el adjective. El adjective es reasonable. Razonable. Yo puedo decir, the price, el precio, the price is reasonable. El precio es razonable. Pero puedo modificarlo. Puedo decir, the price is pretty reasonable. Entonces es bastante razonable. Es muy razonable. Yes. Yes, yeah, so for all other, um, es, eh, podría ser eh, razonablemente bueno. Because pretty in other expression is pretty is, es lindo, hermoso. Correcto, uh, les know. explicaba eso, que pretty puede ser un adjective, el mismo, right? Por ejemplo, um, Agua Chapán is pretty. Right? Our Japan is pretty. El Salvador is pretty. Ahí está actuando como un yes. adjective. Adjective, yes. Sin embargo, pretty tiene la especialidad que puede ser usado también con un adverb. Si usted lo observa o si usted lo ubica antes de un adjective, entonces ese uh, pretty no sería un adjective, sino un adverb. Está modificando. Como en este caso, ¿verdad? Dice pretty reasonable. Aquí no sería bonitamente, no, aquí sería muy razonable. ¿Ya? Yeah? Muy razonable. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Sugerencia, suggestion, busquen ejemplos con estos adverbs, ok? Busquen ejemplos. Google, Google examples with pretty, pretty, pongan ahí en, en Google, pongan pretty plus adjective. Pretty más adjetivo. Pongan fairly Plus adjective. Y les voy a tirar bastantes ejemplos. Increase your knowledge. Incrementemos nuestro conocimiento. Examples to plus adjective. Ese, ese adverbio to más un adjetivo. ¿Ok? Let's practice okay. the conversation. Practice the conversation. Teacher Kalev is going to interpret Carmen's role. ¿Ok? And all my students will interpret Eric's role. Solo que cuando digan aquí Carmen, van a decir Teacher Caleb, ¿ok? Ready? Ready, guys? Everybody, pronounce yes. it. Activate yes. Activate your teacher. microphone. Three, two, one. Let's go. So, come on. So, so where are you from? Where are you from? Caleb. I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Come on. Wow. I be here that I really like. Yeah, know. it is. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive? It's expensive there. No, it's not very expensive. Prices, prices are pretty reasonable. How big, How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It's so perfect. perfect. Maybe, Maybe I should plan a trip here Excellent, excellent. Como dos estudiantes me participaron. Bueno, espero me mejor en esa participación en las demás drills. Eh, aquí en este contexto, cuando Carmen dice, it's a fairly big city. It's a fairly big city. ¿Qué dijimos que era fairly? Bastante. Muy. Bastante. Bastante. Vaya, si big es grande, entonces fairly big es bastante grande. Ok. It's a fairly big city. Es una ciudad bastante grande. But it's Pero. not too big. ¿Qué dijimos que era too antes de un adjetivo? Demasiado. Vamos. Demasiado. demasiado. Entonces estoy diciendo que es una ciudad bastante grande, pero no demasiado. O sea, eh, como que se está contradiciendo ahí él, ¿verdad? Porque es como que fairly big, bastante grande, pero quizás no exageradamente grande, right? It's not too big. So for you to have an idea. Um, 
let's switch roles. Let's switch roles. So students, now you're going to interpret Carmen's role and teacher Kalev is going to interpret Eric's role. Please pronounce, pronounce so I can hear you and I can correct your pronunciation. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Yeah. So, where are you from, students? I'm from Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah. 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 It's, it is. The, the weather is very great. And there are some fish in the city. Is it is it expensive there? No. No. no, no, it is not very no. expensive. Reason, reasonable. 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 Repeat, reasonable. 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 Pretty reasonable. 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 How big is the city? It is a city. It's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. 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 Let's do a little practice with with these. Let's play with these uh, adverbs. Okay. We're gonna play with these adverbs. We're gonna use, we're gonna use really, really, oui. repeat, really, oui. really, 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 okay. We're gonna use very, repeat, very, 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 very. okay. We're gonna use pretty, 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 okay. We're gonna use fairly, fairly, okay. The similitude, the similitude between really, very, pretty, and fairly is que todos estamos. En pocas palabras, agrandando al adjetivo. Es lo mismo, ¿ok? Pueden usar cualquiera de esos para agrandar, para aumentar el contraste de el um, adjective. Bueno, cuando usamos to, es que ya se pasa, como overflow, como rebalsar algo, ¿verdad? Too, it's too angry. It's too, it's too uh, salty. Está demasiado salado. Too salty. Too spicy, demasiado um, chiloso, decimos nosotros, picante. Too, too strict, demasiado estricto. Too dangerous, demasiado peligroso. Entonces, busquemos ahí adjectives y vamos a usar estos adverbs. Ok, we're going to use these adverbs. Let's see. Let's start with the first ones, with the first ones. Okay, class, help me complete the example. Help me completing the example. Okay. El Salvador. El Salvador is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. El Salvador is beautiful. beautiful. Vamos a modificarlo con un adverb. El Salvador is really beautiful. You can say El Salvador is really beautiful. Está diciendo que El Salvador es inmensamente, realmente, grandemente hermoso. Nice, 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 nice. Next, next, next. Let's go with next example. Um, Sao Paulo. is dangerous. 
Sao Paulo is dangerous. dangerous. Modify it with the nad verb. Pablo is very dangerous. Sao Paulo is very dangerous. Sao Paulo is very dangerous. Okay. Next example. Paris in France. Paris. Paris is expensive. Yes. Modify it with the number. Very expensive. Yes, Paris is very expensive. expensive. All right, excellent, excellent. Let's go with quizá los caballeros me van a ayudar acá. Jennifer Aniston. You know the actress, right? Yeah. Jennifer Aniston is very beautiful. Very beautiful, oh my God, okay. Very beautiful, yes. <laughs> famous, usamos famosa, famous. Jennifer Aniston is? Really, really famous. Fairly, fairly famous. famous, okay. Bastante famosa, fairly famous. Very famous, yeah. Next example, Mexican food, Mexican food is spicy, spicy. Mexican food is really, really spicy. Puedo usar really spicy, ¿qué más puedo decir? Fairly spicy. Very spicy. Very spicy, fairly spicy. Para los que piensan que se pasa de, de, de chiloso, de picante, ¿qué voy a too usar? Spicy. Too, too spicy. Too spicy, yes. It's too spicy for me. Thank you. But thank you, yeah, but it's too spicy for me. Yes? So, that's just a little practice with adverbs and adjectives. Let's continue. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. That's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches Check just out. outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. All right, all right, perfect. So this ends the conversation. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. So let's use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go ahead. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's okay, let's analyze the examples. Let's analyze the first example. It says, um, let's see, Juan Carlos. Can you read the first example, please? Mm, yes. The San, Juan. Juan. San Juan is really nice. Or? It's a really nice city. Okay. San Juan is really nice. Really is the adverb modifying nice. Okay. Or? It's a really nice city. Okay. Next. 
Let's go with Jaime. Help us, Jaime. Next example, please. It's fairly big. Yes. San Juan. Oh, sorry, sorry, teacher. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. Mm -hmm. Repeat, fairly. 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 It's fairly big. It's fairly big, yes. It's or fairly big. it's a fairly big city. It's a fairly big city. Okay. Okay. Fairly big, bastante grande. It's bastante grande. It's fairly big. It's bastante grande. Or it's a fairly big city. It's una ciudad bastante grande. Okay. Um, next example. Let's go with Chilma. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's not. It's not very expensive. Let's check. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. Okay. It's not very expensive. It's not very expensive. Okay, it's not a very expensive place. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. 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 It's too noisy and it's too crowded for. Básicamente, tú el Albert tú lo vamos a usar uh, básicamente más comúnmente digamos con adjetivos que son negativos, por ejemplo, noisy. Can you repeat noisy? Noisy, noisy. 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 noisy is, is ruidoso. Noisy. It's, it's, it's a negative adjective, let's say. So you say it's too noisy. It's too noisy. Se pasa, es demasiado ruidoso. Yeah, And yeah. it's too crowded. Repeat crowded. 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 We have more adverbs here. For example, extremely. Repeat, extremely. Extremely. Okay, once again, extremely. Let's start. Repeat, extreme, extremely. 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 Repeat, very. 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 Really. 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 Pretty. Pretty. Early. 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 Somewhat. 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 Again, somewhat. 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 Early. Fairly. Fairly. Pretty. 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 Really. 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 Very. 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 Extremely. 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 For example, yes. Teacher, yes. I have a question. Yes. Uh, the letter H, no sound. It's somewhat. 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 It means mm. algo. Okay. Como un poco. The letter is mute. H. It's mute. Eh, well, yeah, it's mute because what? You just say what? Somewhat. Mm -hmm. It's mute. Okay. It's silent. Mm -hmm. So, extremely, extremely. For example, remember that you need an adjective, right? You need an adjective. For example, eh, El Salvador is a very, is extremely, El Salvador is a extremely tropical, 
tropical is an adjective. El Salvador is a extremely tropical country. Yes. My father is a very happy person. Yes. Somewhat es un poquito. Somewhat, like somewhat, un poquito caro. ¿Cómo sería un poco caro? Some expensive. Somewhat, somewhat expensive. Somewhat. Yes. For example, eating, eating outside, comer afuera, eating outside is somewhat expensive. Yes. It's somewhat expensive. Okay, fairly, bastante. Pretty, really, very, es como muy, muy. Son bien similares. Very, really, and pretty. Okay, I have a question. Could you give examples? Examples using extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, or somewhat. Can you say one example? Can you try? You can chat, Mercy. The other ones try to participate. Can you give one example using one of these adverbs? Can you use one of these adverbs? For example, the street, the street is very, uh, the street is extremely dangerous. The street is very dangerous. Excellent. Thank you, Rodolfo. The street is very dangerous. Salvadoran food is really delicious. Yes. Give one yes. example. Come on. Give one example. Come on. Uh, the Chinese food is somewhat expensive. It's somewhat expensive. Yes, somewhat. it's true. Uh, Chinese food is somewhat expensive. Yes, yes, I agree. But it's but it's delicious though. It's delicious, right? Yes, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> All right, nice. Uh huh. Chinese food is very delicious. Yes, somewhat expensive and very delicious. We're using two adjectives, two adverbs right there. Good job. Good job, class. Hey, class, this is it. This is it. It's only one hour. Practice these uh, adverbs. Please, you promise, practice these adverbs. Google information. Look for examples and practice, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good okay. participation. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. 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 Be safe. Bye-bye. All right, there you go.